only true disability in life is a bad attitude. One of the things that's causing this funk that people are in is that we're living our lives, many of us at least, in these very unfulfilling ways where you're going to this office with artificial light and you're doing something you don't want to do all day long and then you get home and you're tired. We're supposed to be out in the fields. We're supposed to be walking up hills. We're supposed to be looking for animals or gathering vegetables. We're supposed to be doing all these things that our body's designed to do. We're supposed to be in nature. I've read a couple of places where the, you said you've had, you've struggled with depression from time to time. I was on Prozac for a long time. Yep, I was on Prozac for, for a long time, and I, I'm not sure. I mean, it may have helped me out of a, uh, a jam for a little bit. People stay on it forever. You know, I, I had to get off at a certain point because I realized that, you know, everything's just okay. Life is too beautiful. So when we have situations in our life, most people are defined by those situations emotionally. They brand them, and they no longer want to. They no longer want to uh, move forward. I'm gonna sit and cry and be upset and be mad about it, or I'm gonna do something about it. I'm thankful that I'm missing my legs. I'm thankful for that because it allow me to learn certain things and gain certain tools for me to be the person I am today. Your adversity is your advantage. And that your past, whether you had a terrible childhood or whether you suffered from some difficult experiences in life, you should cherish those as your advantage because that was the training that gave you the muscle development to go do extraordinary things that ordinary people just can't do. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. You're either the CEO of your life or you're gonna be someone else. You're, you're gonna be life's employee. And every day if you wake up you don't take control of your day and you don't dominate the day as best you can start to finish, life is going to own you. You know, if you're waking up with a negative attitude, you have to be able to step back and self-assess, why am I in a bad mood? And you have to work from that minute forward to build that tool in your belt, if you will, to be able to assess it, address it, apply it, if you will, and then move forward. If you can do that, say life gets exponentially easier and easier and easier every day. What you're looking for and what you're talking about and what you need is self-discipline. Now, self-discipline, as the very term implies, comes from the self. It comes from you. It comes from when you make a decision to be disciplined. When you make a decision to be better. When you make a decision to do more and to be more. How do you create your life? You get hungry for something, don't you? Who has done something in your life that once seemed difficult or impossible and now it's part of your life? It was once just a vision. It may have seemed impossible at one time. So how did you do it? You started with a concrete vision of what you wanted and you focused on it continuously, didn't you? Wherever focus goes, energy flows. You envisioned something, you got clear about it, and then you started thinking about all the reasons why you wanted it. You got excited about it. So this is what's next for me now. I want this. You may have dreamed about it, thought about it, talked about it. But when you focus on something continuously, something magical happens. You get insights, don't you? You overhear a conversation and hear something you wouldn't have heard if you didn't have that outcome or goal that you wanted so badly. What I say to you now, 
looking at me now, here. I am my human being. There is no difference between my humanness and your humanness. The only thing is, if you're trying to get there, you cannot stop believing in any way. No matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody tells you, you have to know it beyond knowing it. When something is for you, this is how I knew it was for me. When something's for you, there's a feeling that's deep down inside of you that will not allow you to let it go. You have, it will, it will keep you going when you can't even keep yourself going. The number one thing that's going to change your life, the only thing that will change your life, change your business, change your money, change your relationship, is you must raise your standard. And what do I mean by standards? Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. Make some choices. With new choices, you're going to get new results. With new results, you're going to get transformation. I was poor because I didn't have anything. I had no money, I had no things, we had no TV, we had no refrigerator, we had nothing as kids. But I was rich because I had a dream. Start looking into the future of what you would like to accomplish, where you would like to go, the person you would like to be. And see if you can't get a better picture of the finished objective. See yourself there. See yourself in possession of. Uh, I was an apprentice plumber. I did a year in that, and it just—it just wasn't for me. You know, it, my dream was to be world champion, world lightweight champion in the UFC. Have more money than I know what to do with, and have a great life for my my kids, my grandkids, everyone in my in my family, everyone that's that's come up with me. That's my dream. My dream is to be number one, pretty much. My goal is num number one in MMA. So many people think that like you have to have a mother or a father in your life. Like you have to go to a certain school. You have to, and I don't believe that. I believe when you wake up and you're ready to like live, at that point, I can help you get from where you are to where you want to be. And that's why I say, you know, some people think, you know, when you look at uh, certain successful people, maybe their fathers pass something down or their mothers pass down. It's like, no, it doesn't make a difference if they pass it down or not. Everybody's got to wake up and grind. And if you're willing to work like they're willing to work, to have whatever you want. The, the road to success is through commitment and through the strength to drive through that commitment when it gets hard. And it is going to get hard and you're going to want to quit sometimes, but it'll be colored by who you are and more who you want to be. Use that mind control to move your life where you want it to be. It's the things I always say, get stronger, faster, smarter, quicker, friendlier, more helpful, more driven. Don't let your mind control you. Control your mind. And once you control your mind, then you can set it free.